On Saturday morning, parts of Oregon will be in the path of the annular solar eclipse, which is different from what we saw six years ago. This type of eclipse has earned the name Ring of Fire. But will the clouds play nice and allow people to actually see it? Eh, let's find out from Chief Meteorologist Matt Zafino. First, let's start with the best places to potentially see it. Then, what are the weather models telling you about the cloud cover? And why is it called the ring? A fire. A fire. Right. Yes, why is it lot. called that? Let's start with that because I've got my props with me right here. So imagine this baseball is the sun. Imagine this round-ish thing is the moon. So the thing is, like in 2017, if the moon is in the right position, it totally blocks the entire disk of the sun. But because this time the moon is farther away from the sun, it doesn't block the entire disk. So that's why it's an annular eclipse, annular as an annulus, meaning ring. And that is why we get that ring of fire surrounding the sun. So it'll still be super cool. It's just different from what we had back in 2017. Okay, onto the path and onto the specifics with the forecast. So again, it should look something like that, but real, of course, if we get a chance to see it. And that's the big question. By the way, if you're staying home in Portland, you're like, yeah, whatever, I'm not traveling. You'll still see a partial eclipse if the clouds clear, which they probably won't. We'd get about 80, 85 percent of the sun being covered by the moon. So you would see a crescent sun if it's a clear sky. So the path itself starts, makes landfall in North America on the coast of Oregon, goes down through southeast Oregon, then down into Nevada, Utah, and points southeast from there. The problem is west of the Cascades, the odds of seeing it are pretty low because we're going to have pretty solid cloud cover. But once you get east of the Cascades, out towards Chiloquin, Chamol, Klamath Falls, and then down towards Lakeview, we'll have fewer clouds and a better chance of seeing it. If you want to really travel down towards, say, Ely, Nevada, then you have an excellent chance. Same thing across Utah. It'll go right over the Four Corners region. It's kind of interesting, the path of this, because it goes over some big metropolitan areas right over Albuquerque, New Mexico, right over Midland and Odessa, Texas, right there. It goes right over San Antonio, Texas, and then finally will exit North America, at least the continent, and there's San Antonio. Uh, down by Corpus Christi, Texas. So it's an interesting path that it covers so many places. Now this map is a little hard to follow, but, but, but stick with me here on this. What you're looking at here is where it's white, that's where you have clear sky. Where it's gray, that's where we have cloud cover. So this is forecast visibility, white good, gray bad. There is some white over Oregon, but there's also quite a bit of gray, meaning the cloud cover, and then a good clear sky down through Nevada, Utah, and points south and east again. Let's simplify that a little bit because, again, that was a little bit hard to read, even for me. And this is a great graphic put together by the folks at the National Weather Service office down in Medford, showing Southern Oregon, the counties here. Here's Medford, there's Roseburg, Klamath Falls, Lakeview, and here's the visibility on the bottom. You can see the west side is gray, bad visibility, but you get into the blue out around Lakeview and down in Modoc County, California, and then at least we have a pretty decent chance of seeing it. So that's where we're going to want to go. Let me summarize that for you. In an even simpler way, of course, coast of the Cascades, cloudy. I wouldn't go there if you want to see it. East of the Cascades, I'm saying there's a chance, pretty good chance. There'll be breaks in the clouds. It happens about 9 o'clock in the morning, so we'll be looking east and then a full clear sky if you want that. you got to go down to Nevada. And, Pat, you and I were talking about our favorite memories of the 2017 eclipse. This is one of mine, watching it with my entire family. Nice. I was down at the uh, Volcano Stadium, I think, in Salem with a big crowd of baseball people watching. Super cool. It's good times. You bet. All right.